What's up? It's your boy Dynast. Um, at the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynastamir.com. Uh, check out our indigenous art, African fashion, jewelry, and accessories. Also, go to searchforahuru.com. Uh, check out the documentary we're shooting. Uh, learn more information about it. Also, contribute towards the documentary. And last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Type the name in Dynast Amir. Search the name. Buy a book. Uh, made them affordable, so please buy one. I uh, wanted to shoot this video on how to spot a fake dashiki and a real dashiki. Uh, reason why I'm shooting this video because here in Atlanta, I'm starting to spot a lot of fake and cheap dashikis. So what I want to do is show you some authentic ones, uh, kind of point out what separates a real one from a fake one, and then moving forward, you guys will know how to spot a real dashiki and how to buy real authentic dashikis and not to buy fake ones because if I catch you with a fake dashiki I'm gonna clown you I'm gonna jone the shit out of you as we say in Georgia Joan or a clown or back in the day growing up in Cali we used to say we're gonna cap on you so here we go now the dashikis I'm gonna show you are from my homegirls um, line Pinsar Africa I'm gonna put the link in the description box uh, so you can check her out and support her. So if you can see, number one, the majority of dashikis, okay, because of the fabric that it's made from, it's not going to have like a 100% a cotton or all that, you know, 50% polyester, 50% cotton. Because in Africa, when you buy the fabric, they just make the, um, the dashiki from the actual fabric, which a lot of times is the Dutch wax. So, you know, you can kind of tell by the sheen to it that this is wax. And a lot of people criticize the wax because it's, the wax actually does, is not produced in Africa. That's why it's called Dutch wax, it's imported. But dashikis aren't, you know, 100% cotton and all the other stuff like you see, um, been seeing out here in the streets lately. Also too, Another red flag, if you're dashiki, in fact, hers, hold on, that's, that's it right there, Pinsar Africa. Hold on, let me focus in on this. Can we, hold on, damn. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to work this camera. Here we go, Pinsar Africa. If you can see, it says made in Africa. All right, that's her tag. But if you have a dashiki, and it says made in India or China is fake. All right, run away immediately. All right, this is handmade in Africa. Everything is handmade. You can just tell. It's just the quality and the uh, the look of it. Hold on. You got me wanting to figure out how to focus this thing now. Oh, well. So that's the major differences right there. It's pretty simple. The fabric, the quality, you can just touch it and know if it's fake or not or if it's directly from Africa because of the, like I said, it's called Dutch wax. Or right, there's usually a sheen to it. And then, like I said, usually when you buy a dashiki, a real one, it's not going to have like made in China or made in India or like 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It's just, it's not really going to have anything on it unless, like my homegirl did, you know, she on uh, her Pinsar Africa, Think African, you know, she put on here uh made made in uh made in Africa, because it is. So then I'm gonna go to my personal closet to show you some of my stuff I have. Um some of the uh Kafatanis that I have. Um let's see here. Let's go up in here. It's dark in here, let me turn the light on. All right, so these are my kafatanis that are made in, in Africa coming directly from Senegal. So as you can see, you know, the fabric, the Dutch wax, handmade, the stitching, like you're not gonna get this anywhere. All right, only, only places I see this done is in Senegal. As far as the handmade stitching, look at that. You're not gonna find it anywhere. Here's another one. Handmade, let me get over here. Handmade stitching, the wax, the sheen to it. This is authentic, and this is on the Dynasty Mirror site. It's 
Same thing here, the long sleeve situation, the till. Like I got a closet full of these. Kind of like uh, if you remember the old Dr. Dre video, Let Me Ride, when he wrote it, when he went into his closet, and he had um, all the same outfits. That's kind of like my closet. So bam, I've got the orange situation, the orange kafatani. You know, let me let me take this down. Bam. You know, that's mine. Handmade in Senegal. My closet is not the most organized closet. You got to forgive me. Same thing. Bam. The black, the black kafatani. Handmade, stitch, all in Senegal. Like I said, none of that fake Chinese and Indian stuff that I've been seeing lately. You know, the pants. Or, you know, this is another kafatani. Got to iron it, though. But you can see the fabric. All this is from Senegal. All of it. Put this back up here. Uh, I got so many, man. It's still in the, in the packaging. Not even worn yet. So. Oh, this is the white one. Let me pull out the white one. All handmade, custom made. All directly from Senegal. You know, or Africa. So again, I just want to uh, make people aware of how to spot a real one from a fake one. So people will stop buying these fake dashikis. Because it's really starting to get on my nerve. Because I've been seeing a whole lot of fake dashikis, dashikis lately. And it's annoying as hell. Hold on, I had another orange one. Okay, go to long sleeve ones. The red long sleeve one. Where's the red long sleeve one? So here's a red long sleeve one. Hold on, pull this one out. You know that's the red long sleeve one. Bam. So you get. I think you guys get the picture now. So again, just wanted to show you guys how to spot a real one from a fake one. It's your boy Donnie Samir. Follow me on social media. Search for Huru on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. Till next time, Donnie Samir, I'm out.